Have you eaten enough to welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Brittany here you have just tuned in to beauty by Brit x3 y'all in today's video we have another haul so let's go ahead and jump right into it lettuce a head of lettuce for my salads um, sometimes I do salads for lunch and other times I do tuna fish so yeah I have tuna fish in the pantry so I'll probably like switch out so that I won't be eating the same thing each day. I'll switch between salads and tuna fish. So that's that. We do have some cucumbers there, bananas. I picked up a head of cabbage, some raspberries, also some strawberries. We got some grapes and also the strawberry shortcake. Um, blue ribbon ice cream bars. I picked up some gallons of water. Y'all, typically I use the water for our Keurig, um, for our coffee in the morning. So I did get a few gallons. These gallons, I actually got six of them. Th these gallons will last us probably, let's see, it's May 6th, I believe, or 7th. We probably won't have to buy any more gallon water until June. So I did get two of these cases of the sunny water as well. By the way, school will be out soon. And I thought about that this week. Like, oh my gosh, we are already at $300 like weekly. <sighs> Once school gets out, y'all know how the kids be all in the snacks, all in the pantry, the fridge. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do at this point. But I think we still have like two or three more weeks left before school is officially out for the summer i think we have two two more weeks maybe i don't know but yeah i was like who help our pockets we have some assorted we have an assorted box of chips um one of my meals that i wanted to do this week was spaghetti so i did pick up some prego spaghetti sauce we got some oranges there y'all also Pay close attention to the type of salmon I got this week. So this week I got the Alaska, the Alaska stock eye salmon, two packages. Y'all know typically I do the Atlantic salmon, typically, but my sister-in-law sent me a TikTok that I'm going to insert now, y'all. And since I saw this TikTok, I kind of been a little iffy on the salmon. All right, so let's do the five fish that you can eat. Or maybe not the five fish that you can eat, but the five fish that you definitely should eat or consider eating. Now I'm not gonna pretend like these are just the only five fish that you can eat. There's a lot of fish in the sea, okay? But these are some suggestions of things that you should definitely have on your radar. I got one ground roll. Let me say salmon. All right, let's go. Number one. Salmon. Mm. Yeah. Yes, salmon. Salmon is good. Salmon got good intentions, y'all. The problem is when it's farm raised. Now I know they're working on sustainably raising the fish or whatever, but we are not gonna sit here and play like there aren't some problems with it. Problem number one and two, PCBs and dioxins. PCBs and dioxins have been linked with obesity and diabetes. It's a no for me, fam. I like my salmon without contaminants. Now there are levels to the salmon. You got your pink salmon, your Atlantic salmon, coho salmon, sockeye salmon, king salmon, or your Chinook salmon. As far as I'm concerned, anything above coho salmon, you probably in the green. But as I have stated, most importantly, wild caught is what you need to be looking for if you're looking for the good fish. Next, mackerel. Mackerel is a- so I've had the Alaska sockeye salmon before. Um, they say this is the 
cleaner salmon um this is the one this is the type of salmon that you want to go to if you want to eat salmon now in general i didn't think that you know there was levels to the salmon thing but there are if you google like just google pacific salmon and there are levels to the salmon so there's a particular salmon that you do want to go for y'all know throughout my entire pregnancy or not my pregnancy but yeah i can't say my pregnancy throughout my entire pregnancy and the first year of a Milo's life like salmon was my go-to because it helped with a lot of different things and i thought salmon was one of the fish that were healthier but y'all gotta watch the type of salmon that you get so that's just a tip um yeah crazy um, I did get some bell peppers. We got some sandwich spread. I actually put this in my tuna fish. If you didn't know, if you're new, this is what I use. Um, in addition to like my purple onion, my um, celery, in addition to that salt pepper, I put the sandwich spread. I know some people use mayo and relish, and I've tried that, but to me, the sandwich spread is... It tastes much better and it's way easier because you're not mis mixing, you know, the mayo and then the relish. This is the mayo and the relish for me. All in one combined. Y'all, then baby girl saw some, <laughs> she found some applesauce in the um, fridge probably from like, I know at least two months ago because it's been a minute since I've gotten the applesauce squeeze it or the go-go squeeze applesauce. And she was really wanting some this weekend. So I picked up a box of the Go-Go Squeeze, y'all. We used to get these all the time. No sugar added. They're gluten-free, nut and dairy-free. And baby girl loves these, y'all. So yeah, I got a box of those. Um, we got some hamburger helper, y'all. So on those nights that I really don't feel it, y'all, I make hamburger helper. Like, it's something quick, something easy, you ain't gotta really think about. Now, I do add um, a few ingredients to this as far as like onions and bell pepper, but yeah, hamburger helper is really for those easy nights where I really don't have to think. Think about cooking, you just throw some meat. Hold on. You throw some meat in the skillet, some onions, some chopped bell pepper, and keep it pushing y'all something quick and easy um also y'all i haven't really been on the donut shop tough here lately the sneakers are really good the donut shop sneakers the twix not so much y'all i still have a ton of twix left in the cabinet and i actually tried the twix this morning and yeah the twix aren't really doing it for me but i thought i would try these this week these are the donut shop cookie dough K-Cups or the cookie dough K-Cup pods for the Keurig, y'all. We will see how these taste. If you see them in another haul, you know they're good. I just noticed that these are actually the limited edition. So, yeah, we got those. We got some Lucky Charms and some Tenement Toast Crunch. Um, we got some Crunch and Munch, y'all. Some sugar there. Some uh, orange juice the sweet and creamy international delight coffee creamer some eggs i actually add this to my spaghetti this is the thick and zesty spaghetti um, seasoning by mccormick some beef smoked sausages turkey bacon some ground beef some cheese y'all which we really did need i think my cheese was hiding from me behind something else and i didn't see it so um, we did get some cheese. Oh, some yogurt, strawberry. I picked up a thing of deodorant. We got some bread there. Some Simply Lemonade. Um, this is actually new, y'all. This will be my first time trying the Tide Free and Gentle. Um, so we will see how this goes. I'm going to see how I like this. I actually got this from my girl, Dunny BTV. If you have not seen her channel or checked it out go and check her out um she actually used some the week before last i want to say in her extreme cleaning video and i just want to see how this does um we do have our regular persil pro clean y'all the intense fresh 
um, just as a regular detergent for everyone. Um, Baby Girl, actually, by the way, she still uses the drift, or I still use the drift on her clothes. However, I'm going to see how this works. Um, just really monitor her skin. I'm going to use this probably on her clothes as well um, and see how it works for her because I am... We're slowly trying to get rid of the drift, y'all. So, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I do have a 11-year-old and a 2-year-old. Um, and we are, as you know, inflation is real. Um, we're trying to get her out of her pull-ups because that's a bill that we don't want each month. And that drift bill is going to have to go too. Although the drift isn't as much as the pull-ups, that's just one less thing we'll have to buy um, for her. So, yeah, I digress. Let's get back to it. Um, I also got some downy infusions, the calm, y'all. So, yes, this is the haul for the week. Oh, did I mention paper plates? Did I say that? And we got some, some fork spoons and knives. This is the haul for the week. All right, guys, so we are now to the cooking portion of the video. And if you have not already guessed it, we are making baked ziti today, y'all. This is my first time making baked ziti. Of course, we're going to start off cutting up our vegetables, our onions, and bell peppers, y'all. If y'all don't know by now, I like me some diced onions and some diced bell peppers, okay? Like, I put this in just about anything like when I'm making meat well any types of meat ground beef or chicken sometimes chicken sometimes but ground beef for, for sure I'm gonna need me an onion and a bell pepper so we start off cutting it up y'all I'm going to be in and out on this video so the first part is kind of just us getting everything prepped and then we'll get into the nitty-gritty here in just a second all right, so after I cut up my bell pepper, which you'll see in just a second, I go ahead and put my ground beef in the skillet and I add everything to it as far as seasoning goes. Remember, season to your liking. So I added some Tony, some black pepper. I think I even did the peppercorn black pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder, and maybe some Larry's, maybe. Um, and I think I even put some um, minced garlic as well. So, yeah, those are the seasonings I used. You use what you use. Everyone's taste buds are different. So, um, yeah. Next, we will get into our noodles. I use the ragatoni noodles versus the penne. I'm going to tell you, I prefer the penne. After eating this, the ragatoni, they're too large, too much noodle. I need a little, a tad bit smaller noodle. So next time I will make the penne. And I really, I really want to run this back again. So we're going to have to definitely run this recipe back again. But um, there are my seasonings now. So yeah, I did use the Tony's um, and the ragatoni noodles. I don't like the ragatoni. Am I saying that right? Rogatoni, ragatoni. Anywho, I don't like, it's too much noodle. Like, I don't, it was too pasta-ish for me. Um, But it was good. It was okay. But I will change up a few things. But now that the noodles are done, we're going to add our seasonings or more seasoning into the noodles. Because, you know, the noodles have to be noodling. Like, they have to be seasoned. Um, we're going to add our ground beef in the pan. We're going to put our spaghetti sauce in the pan. And then we will get into um, adding our cheeses before we put it in the oven. So let's get into it. <laughs> Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help Yeah. You always make me feel like, oh yeah You never leave my thoughts, oh yeah You 
so I added some mozzarella cheese here and then I stirred it up and now I'm adding another layer and then I will add a layer of cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese on top. Y'all, I, I do want to say that I didn't think that this needed ricotta cheese, but it does. So the next time I make this, one, I'm going to add ricotta cheese and two, I'm going to add more sauce. I need more sauce and my baked beauty like the recipe that I saw said to not make it too saucy but I needed more sauce y'all I really did it was good but I just needed more sauce sorry about the noise in the background if you can hear Myla in the background today is Friday the Friday before Memorial Day and I'm trying to get this edited so it could go up on Sunday y'all so yeah here we're just adding our cheeses in in a second, you guys will see the final product. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, y'all. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell her auntie and them that we are over here. Leave me a comment down below if you decide to make this um, dish or this recipe based on my video. I would love to hear from you. And if you typically make baked ziti, how do you make your baked ziti? What um, what do you do different with your recipe? I would love to know for the next time because we're going to have to run this one back, y'all. With that being said, I'm about to go, y'all. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. All that I crave when you're away, nights are sleepless. Do we need space? Yeah, maybe you're brave. Boy, you're my weakness. Give and we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. To